Welcome to Vet Sounds with Dr. Mac and Linda G, episode 16, Lion Around. So I have a little cautionary tale. Oh. Um, a cautionary tale. Cautionary tale for those who like to play tennis with their oh. dogs. So an employee of mine um, has such a dog. I mean, how many dogs out there that love to play tennis? It, with know, a racket? Fe- no, just you oh. know, fetch the tennis ball. It's okay. just the ultimate ball to provide your dog because it's fuzzy. It's fuzzy, but it's it's just the right size for their mm-hmm. mouth, and they can retrieve it. You can throw it; it bounces a lot. But guess what? Tennis balls, if you're a big enough dog, will eventually be popped and, and swallowed. ripped up and swallowed. Mm-hmm. And so she had to go to the emergency vet mm-hmm. on Saturday night with her vomiting dog, and they took X-rays. And the X-rays of her poor dog uh, were normal. They were they did not show anything wrong. And well, guess what? A tennis ball is invisible on an X-ray. And so of they gave course. her oh. they gave her dog some treatment, some supportive care, some anti nausea treatment, and she took her dog home. And then oh. they were home for a couple of hours, and then the vomiting resumed, even worse than the first time. Sure enough, they ended up back in the emergency room and. An ultrasound was done, which revealed the foreign substance that the, mm-hmm. the hard rubber that the uh, x-ray did not show. <clears throat> right. And um, thankfully, he's doing great tonight. He had surgery, and he's he's recovering well. Thank God. It was a scary time. Racquetballs are smaller than tennis balls, and they're not fuzzy. They're very smooth. Yeah. And once they get a little wet with the dog's saliva... It goes down and lodges, I bet. <sighs> this dog choked to death. I mean, obviously dogs love to play ball, but just be careful, you know, match up your size dog yeah. with the proper size ball. Time to put away all the shop objects. It's Monday Night Goofball. Linda G. Yes, Dr. Matt. Three vampires walk into a bar. Okay. The first one says, I'll have a pint of blood. Mm-hmm. The second one says, that sounds good. I'll have a pint of blood as well. It'd be funnier if I use the vampire accent. But... Third one says, ah. I'll have a pint of plasma, please. So the bartender goes, well, let me get this straight. That'll be two bloods and a blood light. (laughs) So Linda, you know I have, uh, you know I'm a Scrabble fiend. Those of you who know me know that I play Scrabble all day and all the night. I'm exhausted. It's also known as... I can't, I don't know if I can handle much more. You gotta play Scrabble against me. I'm telling you what, it's gonna revive you. I got a panicked phone call from my friend Susan, who I play Words with Friends with. Okay. She called me at like 10 o'clock at night and said, Jim, you're not gonna believe what happened. My dog Petey ate half of my tiles for my Scrabble game. I don't know, I was eating pizza and I think some of it got on the tiles and he ate half the tiles. What, 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 what do I do? I said, oh boy, Susan, I don't know. This could spell disaster. (laughs) Uh, Okay. They just keep getting worse. (laughs) And the last one is is also animal related. (laughs) The last one. So a zoo attendant noticed a group of children Mm -hmm. that were sitting in front of the flamingo exhibit at the zoo. And you know, the flamingos are a little bit farther away. And, you know, um, these kids were, you know, obviously really rich kids, apparently. So they were balling up, apparently they were balling balling up $10 bills and throwing them to the flamingos to see if they would catch them and eat them. The zookeeper ran over and said, oh my God, what are you doing? Can't you read the sign? And the kid said, yeah, it's no problem. Do not feed. Ten dollar fine. <laughs> Those were That's three of the quick and worst easy. jokes I've ever heard in my entire life. I've been really? around for a while. Yeah, those were super bad. Mm. Super. You need a cape. You need a cape. <laughs> That's how bad they were. You should fly a around cape? with a with a cape. What would the cape say? Super bad. <laughs> super bad. Don't forget to hit subscribe below. So, joke it's number one. How you come back though every week? What is amazing? Oh, after, after I'm you, vaporized. After yeah. you're vaporized every week. Cheers, and thank you for watching Vet Sounds. And don't forget to tune in next week for more fun, frolic, and. 
possibly some stupidity.